hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're clicking on this video for the first time either you are heartbroken or you have just found out about my channel either way you are in the right place so hi my name is miss rombo i make videos about beauty fashion raw culture and random vlogs i welcome you to this channel i hope at the end of this video you consider subscribing and to my loyal fans who are here again thank you so very much i love you guys Mwah. so today i'm back with one of those random videos and actually it is a request from you guys it is very sensitive that is why i'm even dressed for the part i had to look much well for this so i just hope you enjoy this video yeah so now i'll just uh be frank with you guys because uh she commented publicly so i think i should just share with you so the person who requested for this video her name is ac karaoke i don't know whether i know her personally if i do <laughs> hi girl i didn't know you're called ac karaoke <laughs> but anyway this is for you i hope at the end of this video it helps you or anyone going through the same so yeah that is the purpose of this so i'll read our conversation on my youtube comment iko kwa video ya preparations for january january yeah that video your budget yeah just go there you find my conversation with her but this is what went down so esika yuki said first let's support our own and then i replied yay when i hear that i know i am blessed to have you all thank you so much darling Anything you want to see me do for you? And indeed, AC opened up. So AC said, I learned something dear. Can you talk about how to overcome heartbreak? I'm so confused. So she says, I dated this guy for five good years and he promised. Ah, uh -uh, yeah, promised. He proposed. I said yes and we had plans to visit his parents. And then kuna siku nilisense kuna kitu inaendelea and I decided to make a surprise visit and I found him with another girl. Please help my heart is so bitter. I don't know what to do. Now, I know I'm not the right person for this but I will just have to dig into my inner emotions and just try and help you because I asked for suggestions and honey you suggested and I'm so grateful that you suggested. So, straight on to this video. Now, since my channel purposes to educate, inform and inspire you guys, so I have to make sure that you understand what I'm talking about. Now, today's topic is heartbreak and what what is the definition of a heartbreak? Now, I got this from Google and it clearly says that a heartbreak is an intense emotional stress or pain that one feels that experiencing great and deep longing now this is very true because people normally say that you don't know that you're in love until you are heartbroken or until you feel some kind of pain when you're betrayed so basically i think <laughs> google is <laughs> so yeah now that you have, you've understood what a heartbreak is now heartbreak doesn't have to be between lovers now it can be maybe you love doing something or you you love your cat or you love your mom as in it's just love for anything for anybody or for just something and when that something is taken away from you trust me there is some kind of pain that you will feel so that is what heartbreak is so i know at some point while at one given point you were, you have experienced heartbreak now i have experienced heartbreak before so i know i am not talking about something that i don't know so you know out of my experience and also my research i came up with these steps now whatever we are talking about here is getting over a heartbreak it might take months it might take days it might it might take years but trust me you need time time you need time now once you are heartbroken just take a breather grieve now 
whether it's death in your father you are at broken whether you are left now you're at broken or something has been taken away from you and now you <coughs> and now you are at broken just grieve just take the moment to grieve kachini lia mama cry cry if you have to cry do whatever you have to do just sit down and take a breather okay I allow you cry honey cry it will help trust me you are allowed to be sad your someone has that broken you you are feeling pain so suppressing that pain will give you will just give you depression so honey be sad I don't talk to Lisa why are you sad honey start even crying <laughs> but uh, the point I'm trying to put across is just sit down and take a breather and grieve yes thank me later <laughs> after you have allowed yourself to feel to feel the sadness to feel now one step to you know moving on is keep off keep just got real this person has had broke has had broken you and uh, there's no easy way to just accept but you have to try and you can try by keeping off just keep off and by keeping off what i mean is uh we live in an era where there is social media so with social media comes talking now already you are used to you know having access to each other's posts having access to each other's you know statuses and all so first step to that is just block the person man you don't need to know that he's going to the club or he's sick or he's going to church or <laughs> okay but i'm trying to put my point across this keep off basically block him when you're done you're done just be done okay so let's go through the steps again. So number one, you've already allowed yourself to feel the pain. When we grieve, you've just taken the time to grieve. Number two, you have, when we decide you are keeping off, so that means you've blocked any communication happening or any stalking that might happen. So number three, it is just advisable on the case that is in my book it is advisable that you talk about it we normally say that if you talk about it a problem is normally halfway solved or a quarter solved but a bit of it is solved so just look for someone to talk about and i it's advisable to look for someone who you are not mutually involved that means see beshte yeah we your ex that is what I mean. Now, in this case, I'm referring to Isi Kayuki's case. That means I'm talking about heartbreak between lovers, heartbreak between boyfriend and girlfriend. That is what I am focusing on. So, just find someone to talk about, to talk about it with. He might make you see something from a different angle, something that you you are not understanding or the other person was communicating to you but maybe how you know so people don't have to communicate verbally maybe it was communicating through actions and you are not seeing and if you just share that with someone else that person might open your eyes more and understand let's say you're finding closure yeah with that it might help so i hope that you find that person to talk to yeah. now step number four find a new routine find a new routine now what do i mean by that i mean for easy's case it is five years five good years i can imagine what you guys were doing maybe you were you were used to kwamka when the gym and then we really cook together dine together go out together everything together and then together you know so it hits you hard when you are really so fond so fond of someone so now this is the case and 
what you need to do is just find something that doesn't remind you of this person so maybe you guys were used to taking maybe bread and milk try new recipes if normally you were eating out just try and start cooking for yourself you are not going to church start going to the church you guys never went to the gym go to the gym just be all about finding something that gives you pleasure than that is basically what i mean i hope <laughs> explaining is kind of difficult but i have the point and i hope you're getting the point let's just find a new routine after you do if you've never danced before just sign into a dancing class you never know maybe you're lucky to just do something about it just find something that doesn't revolve around what you used to do with who and yeah okay yeah thank you later <laughs> for five be around good vibes now while you are trying to you know find a new routine just make sure that you be around good vibes we see watch soaps don't watch uh, movies and it's gonna heartbreak don't listen to songs that are repeating sad stories just be around good vibes cartoons you know those things that spark joy listen to good music do things that you know zina kupa raha uh, in contrast to sadness that is what i mean i hope i'm just putting my point across okay just be around good vibes like really just only keep off kidogo i'm still healing you know just be around good vibes you know just be around where and another thing is just about being around good vibes is drop when i try it you know kuna wale mabeshte you collect when you guys are in a relationship just drop them off you know when the relationship in misha wakati even if it's just for a while while you are healing it's a healing process obviously okay mwana and you, you'll remember maybe or they'll talk about something and it will spark you to me come to you start all over again so try and have maybe new friends just good vibes you know that is what i mean like fanya vitu zinakupa raha stop being so sad around so sad people around people whining stop watching movies and what work was sad stop watching kuskiza yeah just basically be around good vibes now let's go through this process again number one umeachwa number one just allow yourself to grieve feel the pain yeah and after doing that number two just keep off block huyo mtu stop going to places where you find him if you took my iso number three number three talk about it just find someone to talk about it with and that person may may advise you accordingly and let you see maybe the breakup or the relationship from a different angle and you might find answers you are looking for then we have number four is find a new routine stop doing things that you were doing with me like come and see necessary just stop and just find a new routine number th- number five be around good vibes and i've already explained that extensive extensively i have already explained that extensively yes just be around good vibes now number six is about finding closure and by finding closure that means just examine yourself you miss it what was wrong actually this process begins at number three where you went and talk about it with someone else so when you talk about it maybe someone gave you advice or so maybe you understood something or meaning then you start finding a new routine and you start realizing that maybe you lost yourself in the relationship and you are not seeing some things clearly and now you are finding yourself and you are you know you're in that process number four which was not number five was <laughs> being around good vibes 
and with that you realize maybe how sad you were and maybe it was not worth it you start realizing that and trust me the memories don't go away just keep the memories it's not about blocking out the memories it's about accepting accepting the pain and living with it that is what heartbreak is about so now you've gone through all these processes now you are understanding yourself and uh, through this process you've already examined yourself and now you are reaching your closure that this and this might have happened because of this and this you don't have to necessarily have a talk with that person for you to understand what went on these processes that have given all these steps or rather these steps that have given you might help you find the closure that you and when you find this closure you'll find that you forgive this person automatically like whether he was the problem his loss whether you were the problem his loss either way you has you guys had good memories you had bad memories so basically it's just about examining yourself and making yourself a better person yes <laughs> wow i didn't know i could do this i was so much doubting myself but I'm here and we're doing this video together. Imagine I'm helping someone out there. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of that. Okay. Okay. Yes, we have successfully completed this video. Now, I'm just here to leave you with a small quote. Now, after all these steps, you went through a heartbreak and you've managed to get over it. Don't, don't don't be afraid to um, let yourself uh, out there for love let's put it this way uh, not everyone is meant to stick with you throughout the entire journey of your life so if that person aliona ni taimeke ya kushuka tafadhali endelea na safari wakati unaendelea na safari utakutana na mtu atakaye kupenda kuliko kuliko huyo mwingine <laughs> kuliko the, the former one you'll find someone who will and by then already if you have went through all these steps you will have understood yourself you will have you know taken the time to love yourself to take care of yourself and by the way on that note i do have a self care video telling you how to take care of yourself more and i will just leave the suggestion link hapa it will appear right about now <laughs> so yeah go watch that and you'll understand what i'm talking about so basically after you've understood all these things and you have understood yourself and you've taken care of yourself more and you love yourself more the right person will love you and that person will love you for who you are with all your flaws, with all your imperfections and perfections and you just be happy. So don't be afraid to get yourself out there. There is someone for everyone. Love is a beautiful thing. So if you if like if if love finds you, because even if that person will heartbreak you eventually, but you had you had the opportunity to love and be loved you had the opportunity to change a life or not you had the opportunity to find out about something in life or not everything happens for a reason and i'm sure you learned a lot while you were with this guy so it's not a total loss yes yeah so don't regret any moment that you had so, so if you do like this kind of content please give it a thumbs up like if not dislike so if you do like this content like if not dislike that's it <laughs> let me just end this vlog because i am feeling some type of a way like don't ever <laughs> but no I'll be back next week with another request from you guys. 
I don't know, but keep the suggestions coming, keep the requests coming, and thank you so much for your support. You guys are just amazing. Mwah. Thank you for the continued support, and thank you for watching this video. And please do leave a comment on what you think about all these tips that I've given you. If there's anywhere that I'm wrong, or if there's anything that you want to add, please do feel free to add in the comment section below. And uh, okay, go so now. Take a subscribe, Pia. Please do subscribe. <laughs> and that said, be kind to people, don't be heartless. Be kind, be kind, be kind.